Hi, I'm Doug, and on behalf of everyone at Plugin Alliance, it's my pleasure to present the Gig Performer, the most versatile native plugin host on the planet. It's awesome, and you can think of it like a giant virtual rack filled with the coolest studio gear, amplifiers, and consoles. And all you need to use it is an audio interface and a computer. It runs at 32 samples, which means there's no distinguishable latency. It's not a resource hog because your computer has a ton of resources. All right, it's available in two different versions at the Plugin Alliance website. First of all, if you've already got the Mega Bundle, you're gonna get it for free. The Plugin Alliance version enables you to have everything that Plugin Alliance has to offer. The unlocked version also enables you to have all that good stuff and run any AU or VST plugin that you've got on your computer. If you're a guitar player, it opens up a whole world of tone. If you're a bass player, you've got all that great Ampeg officially authorized stuff. Drummers, front of house people, just a huge new world of stuff that you can do. And it's extremely reasonably priced and it sounds amazing. All right, speaking of sounds, we're gonna run through a range of sounds that are gonna allow you to hear what this does. And in so doing, we're gonna kind of unpack some of the things that I think you're gonna to wanna to know about it. There are so many plugins available in here, we could do this for days. We're gonna start off with the officially authorized Diesel VH4 model with this lovely Petrucci guitar. Let's take a listen. Some of you are probably wondering, well, why can't I just use my DAW instead? Well, there's a level of flexibility you get with this setup that you'll never get with a DAW. And also, DAWs tend to be a pretty big resource hog just to do what they do. This is not about recording. This is a live performance setup that you can use to record, but that's not the point. What it does enable you to do is some of the stuff that you can never do with a DAW. This is my MIDI controller that's been with me for a long time. And what it makes it super easy to do is just dial up different presets like this. One of the other things I love about this setup is you begin to find certain amps that you really resonate with. And the VH4 sounds great with lots of things. Let's take a listen to that same exact setting, but with a crutch. I think one of the things that people are gonna love the most about this, especially if they play acoustic guitar, is being able to bring out all these classic consoles into a live environment. In this particular case, it's a Neve VXS that actually belongs to Dirk Ulrich, founder and CEO of Brainworks. And I'm also using the Brainworks R-O-O-M-S, that is to say, Rooms Reverb, which sounds awesome. Fidelity is an integral part of a great workflow. And for this demo, I'm using the exact same signal chain I was using before. And the clarity and fidelity on the bass strings is unreal. Never heard them sound as full and as clear as I did on this demo. The other thing is, is I would never have played what I played if it weren't for this setup. And that's kind of the whole point, right? We want to be able to sit down and have music be drawn out of us. And that does such a great job. Let's take a listen. One 
one of the great things about high fidelity gear is that one, it really makes it so things are very clear. And two, every so often, it's going to give you a bit of a workout, which was definitely the case with this particular one for me with the B15N model. Uh, the Brainworks folks did such a great job with the component level modeling on this. The first half, I'm playing kind of staccato. You can hear the amp is just a little bit, in the good sense of the word, tight. And then as I start to dig in, you hear it loosen up and the girth. What's really interesting, juxtaposed to the fact that it's kind of a drum machine part that's just playing all the way straight through, you hear the bass drive the track, which is so cool. This gear is nothing short of phenomenal. And what it does ultimately is it translates to better music. I love that. One of the great things about having so many tones on tap, you plug in and you start playing and something comes out. This one's utilizing the mega single amp model and this is what came out. So this one's using the bass dude model. And in addition to all the wonderful jangle and chime it's got, when my right hand was closer to the neck pickup, it's much fuller. And then when I bring it over here, it's almost as if I'm able to use my right hand like a tone control. And this again gets back to the component level modeling. It behaves and responds just like a tube amplifier, which is why I'm able to do all the things that I love doing with a tube amplifier inside the box. Let's take a listen. <laughs> For this last one, I'm going to be using the officially licensed Friedman BE100 plugin. I want to thank you for checking out this video. For more information, please visit the Plugin Alliance website. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.